today we are drawing a hammerhead shark. First thing you need to do, we've got our lovely piece of paper. We're going to start off with a tilted oval. Tilted oval. Remember whenever you're drawing, you always want to draw very, very lightly. So if you need to erase, you can. We're going to have a little bit of motion in our shark today. So we're going to do our tail in the back. It's kind of like a little tilted triangle stemming off and the front of our head swoops forward to a point and connects to where your body's going to go. From there we need to add our tail in the very very back. Your tail is going to follow this trajectory so your direction swooping around and you want your tail to be relatively large because it needs to be able to propel your shark forward. So swooping around and the bottom of the tail is just going to sneak in right there so it can curve around. Whoosh! If you want to make the sound effects, you definitely can. Sometimes when I draw and make sound effects, I find that they are very helpful. Alright, so we got our tail blocked in. Now we got to get the hammer part of our hammerhead shark. Since this is at an angle, the part of the head that's further away from us is not going to be quite as large as the side that's closer to us. So keep that in mind. The reason I'm holding my pencil like this right now is it keeps me from pressing very hard on my page. And I find that very helpful because otherwise I have a tendency to get a little darker than I may want to starting off. All right, so I got a relatively good form here starting off and now I can start inputting some details. I need to get my dorsal fin in here and that's going to be my top fin. That's the fin that in shark movies you see and start screaming about. That's the one. Dun 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 Sorry, got a little invested in my shark movie there. So I'm just blocking everything in at the moment. I'm gonna have those gills and all that good stuff. Make sure we're still drawing very lightly at this point because a lot of these lines you will be erasing. Got to do our pectoral fin. Make sure you're looking at the angle that you draw these. Oh, mine's got a little bit wide there. There we go. And it's of course going to be on the side of the body. And if you want, you can block in where your eye is going to be as well. All right. At this point, we got all our major important aspects of our hammerhead shark, and we can start defining edges and shading. We can get in some of our shading. So, um, I'm gonna define a little bit more of our my tail up here and bring that down, and then I'm going to start blocking in some values. I'm just gonna use some hatching lines for right now. And I want to make sure that tail looks like it is indeed whipping around. So that's going to be a little bit darker and lighter at the bottom. I'm going to erase a little bit. And remember, we always drew lightly, so we can erase if we needed to. It always makes your life a lot easier, so you don't have a whole lot going on later and you don't have to fight your paper you're not going to have any divots on your page if you draw lightly which you always should do whether you're working with just a regular hb pencil which is a number two pencil which is what i'm using or if you're working with drawing pencils you always want to work relatively lightly i'm going to go in and erase some of my lines that i initially created that i'm not going to be using anymore so those were my shaping lines for my body but right now they're just going to become visually distracting if I don't get rid of them so you can go in and erase some of the lines that you no longer need 
All right, this is coming together nicely for us. We do need our back fin here. So uh, for those of you who aren't aware, this is actually a second dorsal fin. That's a lot smaller since it is behind and we need to get a little bit of shading in that one too. I'm gonna have this a little bit more straight than it was initially. So editing as I go and notice that I'm not getting too tied up in one aspect or another. I'm just blocking in some values right now. And this is gonna be my underside of my shark. So getting some values blocked in there. When you shade, you wanna shade and have your lines relatively close together so it's not looking overly streaky and it makes filling everything in later a lot easier. We need to do the underside of our shark so we got a couple pelvic fins and make sure you can tell the separation so there will be a darker value underneath there and one more. All right. Just blocking in still very lightly. We can always go in and add more values, but right now we just wanna get some of my darker areas initiated. All right. From here, I'm gonna start working on my head a little bit. I'm gonna give my head a little bit more personality, some jagged marks. It's not gonna be perfectly straight. Maybe my shark got in a fight. It is a hammerhead shark after all. You never know what they're doing underneath the sea. Maybe they headbutt each other to say hello. That'd be really an interesting uh, hello. I feel like after a little, the second or third time, you'd just be a headache and you'd wanna stop meeting other sharks. Oh, hey, what do I know? All right. I'm going to have the shadow of the fin. And from now here on, all I'm just going to do is shade so I can speed this up a little bit so you can just see the process and how I wrap this up. Uh, as I'm finishing off, you'll, one of the things that you'll see is me grabbing a blending stump. I really like to use blending stumps uh, when I finish drawing simply because I think it gives everything a really nice finished look. It gets rid of your grainy aspect on the page, so the grainy aspect that colored pencil and regular pencils will often uh, develop for you and then this way it just gives it a really nice finished look so I'm gonna speed this up a little bit and you can check out everything and how I do this as we go
The reason I switched pencils there was just to get a sharper edge. This one doesn't have any eraser, so that's why I'm switching back and forth a little bit. But I'm kind of getting to the point where I can really decide um, whether or not I'm finished, and you can always keep going and editing. And remember, this is a very much a basic drawing of a hammerhead shark, but um, you gotta just start somewhere, right? And sometimes the basics are a great place to begin. I got a little dark on some of my aspects, so I'm just going in with an eraser and using that as another tool, blending some back, and got a little bit of movement with my shark, got some dark areas, some highlighted areas, it's a pretty decent basic hammerhead shark to start off the day. Uh, remember, as you're working, you can always edit. Reference photos are a great place to uh, improve your work and get better with things. But, but you got a nice little hammerhead shark. Thanks for watching. And remember, the more you practice, the better you get. And just like with all things in life, I hope you did well. I hope you liked it.